Hey Scorps, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a quick reading for you. Let's do a love reading. And we're going to pull out three separate piles so we can see what the person on your mind, oh, first card, first pile, what the person on your mind wants to tell you right now. Second pile, Scorps, what is the person on Scorpio's mind want to tell them right now? What is the person on Scorpio's mind want to tell them right now? What are you guys doing today? How are you doing? Second pile. We're not doing any reversals. What are you guys up to today? Scorps. And also we're going to pull. I tried this thing recently and I liked it. So we're going to do a card from every deck, including the money deck, to see what the person on your mind wants to tell you. Maybe they want to come and bring you some loving and some money, my love. Ooh some jumpers so how was the eclipse for you guys did you guys have fun did you guys get to check it out look up with the proper glasses of course Ooh, we have a card that is a jumper let me go grab that card real quick and I'll be okay Scorps we are back what is the person on your mind want to tell you right now what is the person on Scorpio's mind want to tell you right now what you tell them right now Okay, so for the last pile, I guess we got the two cards that we did for the last pile. So did you guys get to see the eclipse? I stayed home. Thank goodness I didn't have to work. So I didn't really do anything other than take my dog out. And even when I took him out, oh, her, it's a her. Okay, her name is Penny. Uh, <laughs> yes, I used to have a boy dog, but now I have a girl dog and she is adorable. But when I took her out, I made sure my head was covered and I did not get up exposed. I did not buy the proper glasses for the eclipse. So I didn't really look up. I didn't really get to see. Okay. But I did a lot of rituals and I did a lot of different things that needed to be done. So I did a spiritual bath and everything. So yeah, it was great. What do you guys have for my Scorpios? What do you want to tell my Scorpios right now? What are the, what are the financial messages that Scorpio needs to know oh, right now? Okay, for the pile number two, pile, the middle pile, we have two extra cards for love, I mean for money. So now we're going to get from our, oh, okay, we're going to keep, keep this for you. We're going to get from our weed deck. do we have for my Scorpios right now? What messages do we have for my Scorpios right now for after the eclipse? What other messages do we have for my Scorpios right now for after the eclipse? What messages do we have for my Scorpios? One came out and the reverse, so we're gonna take this, oh, I guess two. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. So two cards were stuck together, but facing the opposite side. What other messages do we have for my Scorpios for pile number three? What message do we have for my Scorpios for pile number three for after the eclipse? All right, Scorp, so we got all the messages that we needed. What, you know what? Let me get one more pile and then we're going to debunk or we're going to go through. Let's see what our ancestors want us to know right now. And then afterwards, we'll go through all the piles. All right, so I'm sitting by the pool today. I've actually been sitting by the pool. I came this morning, had my coffee, and now I'm sitting here creating some content. I was just on TikTok. You know, I have a community over on TikTok, so I want to make sure I get them. I didn't do anything yesterday. I did not record any videos yesterday, so today I'm putting everything out. What messages do you have for my Scorpios? What messages do our ancestors, guardian angels, have four Scorpios today. One, two, three, four, stop. All right, so I'm gonna just get a message. One from the middle, one from the top, and one from, from the bottom. So let's see, Scorps, okay? So for our first pile, we're going to see what the message is for our Scorpios. Inseparable, our love is always there. So if you pick Pile number one, this is what your person wants to tell you, that you guys are inseparable, your love 
is always there despite the distance. So maybe you are distant with the person that you're in love with, Scorps, and this person feel like you guys are inseparable. It doesn't matter how far you are from this person. You could be maybe miles away, countries away, states away, but this person feel like you are the one and they feel like you are inseparable from them and they are always thinking about you, Scorps. So pile number one, this is your first card. And <laughs> release your ex. Okay, well, maybe you guys moved away because you broke up. <laughs> so, Scorp, this could be you and your person. Maybe you were not ready to release your ex, but you guys are world apart. But they feel like um, they are inseparable with you and you're inseparable with them. Maybe this is your feeling, but if you guys are broken up, Maybe it is time for you to let go because you're so far away from each other. Maybe it's best to date somebody who's in your state, in your country. Something that's easier to access. So the time has come to clear your energy. See? The time has come for you to clear your energy. So it's time for you to clear that energy because the energy is across the world. So Scorps, um, Victim consciousness oh my goodness victim consciousness course so maybe this person have hurt you you've hurt this person but you guys both have a victim consciousness and it's time for you to move on from this relationship you could be dealing with someone who was born in the 12th or they are they are born in the 12th month of the year so scorps you do not have you know it's not good to to be a victim to cry wolf all the time to have the victim mentality because you're going to be stuck in that in that notion and you don't want to do that so this is help from above your 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 guardian angels are here to help you they are here to assist you they are here look we had a, a new moon yesterday in a solar eclipse and the moon is right here help from above this is your year this is your time for you to get the help that you need from above your ancestors are here to help you you could be 27 you could be dealing with someone who was born on the 27th of the month or the person is 27 but you're definitely getting help from above the ocean is here to help you so tap into the ocean maybe you're someone who dealt with mommy wata wa, um oshu but water water is very very important maybe you're someone who played the uh, harp is that the harp i think it's the harp i'm not really big with like um music but the harp could be a thing you could you could have strawberry blonde hair you could have orange hair but definitely tap into your ancestors and deal with you know with the energy of the moon work with that and look at this it said north star scorps your angels are your north star so this is your money card actually it says you're facing the future with excitement as you follow your dreams and embrace your passions in life you are now directed to your life's purpose scorps with this new eclipse is going to bring a lot of new beginning for a lot of people so this may be your start maybe because that person move away or you move away and you guys are a mile apart it is time for you to start over but know that this person will always be your north star okay so don't worry about what's happening right now now is your time you need to just step on up deal with whatever you need to deal with so you can move on from it okay scorp this is your financial card and over here it says saran saran mia Ooh nature scorps you need to go into nature you need to go outside you notice i started the the reading about being outside and soaking up the sun and just breathing in that good ass prana baby <laughs> so i watch a lot of um infinite water but whenever i think about the air you know letting the air get into your lungs it i think about him so maybe you're someone who watches him but being outside your ancestors are telling you to be outside maybe you're an african-american maybe you have an afro you have curly hair but your ancestors are literally telling you to go outside and and breathe in that good ass prana because it's good for you scorp so yes this is your card of what your ancestors have to say to you we have a bunch of cards codes and nature nature go outside scorpio you need to be outside to deal with nature you need to ground yourself with this new eclipse it is all about you know sound wave the um different waves that are in the air right now go ground yourself and be with nature and be with your ancestors you know what I mean? Not be with your ancestors. We don't want you dead now. But definitely get in touch with your ancestors. Grounding, bitch. <laughs> your last card is grounding. 
Tanya. This is your card, Scorps. You need to go outside and ground yourself. This is your message, Scorpio. You need to go outside and get some sun and ground yourself. You see the sun behind her? You need to go outside and get some sun. You've been cooped up in the house.